Hello there, hope you've been enjoying your Easter weekend so far. Saturday brought us a good amount of fine weather once again. Many of us had some clear blue skies or sunny intervals if we did venture outside. Some of us though held onto the cloud a bit more and for more of us on Sunday we will see this hazy sunshine particularly into the afternoon and that's because we've got weather fronts that are wanting to push their way in from the Atlantic. They're butting up against high pressure though so that means that they are moving relatively slowly and certainly throughout Saturday evening it will stay pretty dry with a good amount of sunny intervals and those turning into clear intervals overnight. In the east though we will start to see the low cloud rolling its way back in for England and Scotland and that could produce a bit of mist and fog as well. Out in the west the breeze will be strengthening and certainly around coastal areas of northern Scotland we could see some gales developing but with the breeze and the cloud that's around that does mean temperatures won't drop off as much compared to where we have seen them on recent nights towns and cities holding up around five to seven degrees Celsius. This cloud in the east will mean it's a murky start for some areas here but with the breeze also strengthening throughout the day that will hopefully help clear its way off but could just take into the afternoon before we see the sunny spells developing here. Elsewhere in the west it's this higher base cloud that's going to roll its way in and that's going to make the sunshine turn a bit hazier into the afternoon but for much of Scotland, Wales and England it will still remain fairly dry and fine and so should be reasonable for any Easter egg hunts you do have planned despite that breeze. For Northern Ireland we could see the odd outbreak of rain into the afternoon before the rain eventually moves its way in a little later on. Temperatures actually up compared to where we have seen them on Saturday so highs of 15 degrees Celsius through the central belt and maybe pushing towards 18 degrees Celsius in some other areas as well. It will still feel that bit cooler along eastern coastal areas particularly northeast Scotland where you're pulling in that cooler air directly in from the North Sea. As we said then into the evening this rain is going to gradually then push its way across all areas of the UK. First Northern Ireland then into Scotland and Northern England where we could see some heavier bursts of rain and it will also be quite windy around coastal areas of Scotland. For Wales and England, uh, central and southern areas of England it will be more patchy outbreaks of rain throughout the night. Clearer intervals developing for Northern Ireland and Northwest Scotland a little later on so that will allow temperatures to drop, drop off a bit more here but still around 5-6 degrees Celsius where we hold on to the cloud across England and Wales throughout the night its temperatures will be holding up around 9-10 degrees Celsius so it will be quite a mild start to Monday morning here but it's also going to be quite a damp and soggy one as this rain continues to clear its way off. It will linger across Shetland and southeastern areas of England throughout the morning maybe taking until until the afternoon to eventually disperse and behind that there will be some sunny spells but also quite frequent showers pushing their way in and some of those could be heavy at times with the risk of some hail and thunder. Temperatures just slightly lower compared to where we will see them on Sunday now highs more between 12, 14, maybe 16 degrees Celsius. So Monday then is looking like certainly the most unsettled day of the Easter weekend and it sets us up for what is set to be a fairly unsettled week to come as well. Further outbreaks of rain and showers, strong winds at times as well, particularly Tuesday night into Wednesday is one to watch out for. Temperatures are also going to be gradually lowering down as we move towards Wednesday as well. Do keep up to date with the full forecast for the forthcoming week by following us on all of our social media channels. If you're watching on YouTube, then subscribe as well. And otherwise, we'll be back here with you very shortly. Bye-bye.